Hello, you're watching The Luna Show, and I'm here with my gay father and somebody who's an icon in the house in Boston, Hector Extravaganza Power. Hi. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hi, Daddy. Hey, Poppy. So tell us a little bit about Hector Extravaganza. Mm, well, I'm a humble person. I'm kind. I'm lovable. I'm sweet. I'm moist. Um, what can I say? I'm open-minded. Um, I'm open to everything, you know, so it's not like there's nothing to hide. What you see is what you get, you know, that's it. Okay, what and tell think? us, uh, how many years have you been in the ball scene? Since the 70s, since 1979, the first time I went to the ball. Really? Uh-huh. Who were your inspirations then and now? Um, then it was the, like, Avis, um, Dorian, Dorian more so. Um, I was a... Doray, that's a lot of people. So you're um, saying Avis Pandaris, Dorian Corey. And um, Dur um, Duray, um Crystal, <laughs> Michael, Michael uh -huh. Princess, um, Erskine, okay. of course, Base Kids, of course. Everybody. Yeah, so tell us uh, how you graduated from category to category, because you're a man who did everything. In well, I, my, my thing is to master um, one. My first category I ever walked was Model's Body. After I mastered that, then it was uh, hello, I'm still here, no body fat. <laughs> um, after that, then it was runway from Runway Vogue and Face. And by, my thing is one, one step at a time, that way you don't have to get yourself muddled up and finding yourself. Just go one, one category at a time, master it, then go, then you can go further. You know, what, but if not. What makes you happy? Um, my children, my gay kids. My gay kids makes me happy just to see people smile. And you know, people enjoy themselves and, and enjoy life and don't take advantage of life. And you know, saying it's most, mo mostly my, my kids. My what, gay kids keeps me going. And what makes you sad? Um, not to see people happy. You know, I gotta always see uh, someone smiling. I know, that me makes too. My day. Yeah, I know, it's so funny. <laughs> You're and, my daddy. Yeah. So tell us a little bit. I know you do a million things, but tell us one thing that you're most proud of. Um, Either in career or in ballroom, because I know you're also a, you, you're a designer in, so, uh, in a way. What makes so. me what makes me mostly happy is to see my, my my gay kids accomplish what they have to accomplish. So if I have to put myself out there, um, I don't have any shame in the game because there isn't any shame in the game. And to know that my kids, you know, um, keep the legacy, caught it, keep the <laughs> legacy alive. You know, what I'm saying so, but in a positive, you know, in a positive way, when ne no negative energy. You know, saying because negative energy generates negative energy, positive energy generates positive energy. So if you keep it, you know, keep it cute, keep it strong, keep yourself humble. You can move on and focus. And you've been an extravaganza from day one. From right? day one. So tell us, there's a lot of kids that jump from house to house. What What do you think kids need to put in their minds about being dedicated to one name? Um, a lot of kids these days, a lot of kids for me, um, they lost the uh, uh, the family value. Um, whereas back in the days it was more family orientated. A lot of uh, like the house of extravaganza before we came extravaganza, we were all, already hanging out with one another. So then we 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 bloomed, but ninety percent of us are still within the house. So like, but as far as like the kids of today, the ones who are jumping from house to house, I think they're still finding themselves. And there's something within the parents. The parents is nurturing them enough for them to feel like you know they're they're at home. Because you know being in a house, if you don't feel like you're at home, then you're not in the house. You just in a, it becomes a club. You know what I'm saying? So they just need to, to find, to focus on themselves, look at the man in the mirror, and or the person in the mirror, or the girl in the mirror, or the dragon in the mirror. Just look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do you want to do? Because the mirror won't lie to you. Thank Your friends you. will. Yeah. So, any last thoughts? Anything you want to tell the world? <laughs> um, no, just keep it humble. That's it. You get one life, you know, you get a lot of balls, a lot of kids, a lot of men, a lot of women, 10,001 condoms, maybe how many of you use it, I don't know, but nevertheless, you have one life. Don't take it for granted. Don't live a happy-go-lucky life. All right. Thank you, Daddy. Bye, booby. Kisses.